Hello, 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 and welcome to another RTA appetizer. RTA appetizer. RTA appetizer. However you want to say it, doesn't matter to me. So, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, uh, since I did see some feedback that um, people like the live ones a little bit, the live clips a little bit more, because they they didn't know the outcome of the fight. So, what I'm thinking is I will alternate between live and overdubbed, and for the overdubbed ones, like right now, if I did my editing correctly, you should not be able to see if I won or lost. So that will also be a, a mystery to you. So if I decide to do an entire video that's just for overdubbed videos, there won't be, you won't know if I win or lose. And I will guarantee that at least one of the videos per, or one of the clips per overdubbed video will be a loss. So you'll know one of them is a loss. You won't know which one of them is a loss until it actually happens. So that should try to mitigate a little bit of the mystique and the the air of did I win, did I lose, what happened? It's so exciting. Um, but for now, we're just going to hop into this fight against Soft TM in the guild, Soft TM, Occupation, Soft TM. Um, so hopefully you shouldn't see if I won or lost this, so it will be an entire mystery. This person I have fought before, though, so I know their tech, and what their tech is, is a... 18 HP, 18k HP BBK on counter. So they always pick BBK. I, I appreciate the hustle. Oh, keep picking BBK. If you love BBK, that's that's the biggest thing I want people to do in this game is use the people they like. Are they good? Are they bad? Who gives a shit? Just use the unit that you like. If you win a lot, great. If you lose a lot, who cares? It, just use the characters you like because there's no real point in anything otherwise um so things have been happening i stole the immunity from the um from the ml Carrick so that everyone would have immunity for a tywin so that he couldn't he couldn't actually like you know stun defense break everybody um and then he used his s2 to strip the immunity off of Celine, but rimuru just stole it back uh, this is also where I find out their Celine is on counter, which is very, very cool. I, I, I like that as well. I wonder if they're just a pure Banshee player? Either way, Celine is going to go into Celine, kill herself, uh, in game. In game, please don't, please don't ban me. Um, so, the main thing that I want to start getting from this is I need to either kill the A Tywin. I, I need to kill the BBK last. Um, so he's going to rip the S3. No one has immunity anymore. He gets a little bit unlucky with the, where the stuns and the defense breaks landed. Um, neither Rimuru nor Celine had stuns while A Ravi did not get a defense break, which is kind of unfortunate. But what what can you do? Them, that's unfortunately just unless you have the ignore ER it, that's just gonna happen sometimes which which is fine you just have to learn to work around that uh, so now's as good a time as any for BBK to rip her s3 uh, she kills the um, R well which is understandable uh, and now they're gonna go into Celine Celine is dead a Taiwan gonna go go in try to um, try to provoke the Aravi. No luck on that. So, uh, BBK is going to go into Rimuru. I will steal that attack buff. Nice and chonky. And I unfortunately need to get rid of this A Tywin because it is a very annoying Aureus A Tywin. So, I am going to blow, hopefully. I chose a wrong time to break that word up. I am hopefully going to blow up <laughs> the A Tywin um, and kill him. So now 
BBK, which is at almost 17k HP now, hoping to cut the A Ravi. I just need to, I need to do enough damage, and we get there. They are on Moonlight Dreamblade, I believe. No, I think they might be on Dust Devil. I don't remember what artifact they're on. If they're on Moonlight Dreamblade, that could have gone poorly, and I could have missed because my luck and lost. But I got lucky um, that they were on, I think Dust Devil. They never, it never procked, so maybe they were on. Um, they could have been on any number of things if it didn't pop at the beginning, but I wasn't looking. So, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this little bit, and let's jump on into the next one. Oh God, save me a world championship. Oh God, a world championship finalist. Help me. Uh, at this moment, this individual was rank number two in RTA overall. I know it's early in, it's early in the season, so... It doesn't really mean anything, but they do have the frame, which means they are immensely difficult. So, um, I wasn't happy. <laughs> uh, I had no inkling of how I would win this. Um, I just ended up hoping that banning the sinful Angelica would allow my Destina to pull me ahead a little bit, but Lua, oh, so many things. Let's jump into it and see how I did. So the Lua is absolutely going to go first. That is understandable. Uh, it is an almost a 19k HP Lua, so it doesn't have the most effectiveness, but it did have the ability to actually sleep my Arwell, who's about 150. Um, and as you can see, the Arwell was also able to resist the um, turn reset. So that's kind of good for me. I just have to hope that Destina lives through this absolute beating she is about to receive. Um, so that's that's number one. Stene, if you could survive this as well, this is a Benny Mars Tachi Strays. That would be fantastic. Arwell is hyper dead. Okay. It's not the most crit damage build of strays because uh, Stene did not do a lot of damage. Now I just have to hope. This is just this is just where I hope because my Leica is coming back, but she is reset. But I do have four souls because they banned Bellion, so I decided to abuse Book as well. Um, I do get lucky, hit the Sid. Uh, I was hoping to hit the Lua as well, but what can you do? Stene, I am just going to S3 here. I don't need to waste another book. Um, just on the off chance my Leica actually gets to take a turn. I'm going to stun the Strays because I imagine the Strays has less effect res than my... Um, than the Aravi, so I'm going to... Put Arwell in charge of stunning a Ravi, and wouldn't you know, she actually does it for once in her miserable life. Uh, I find it funny, the Lua attacks the uh, Arwell and I gain 4,000 HP, uh, which tickles me immensely. Uh, Guardian Ice Crystals is so strong. And now Lyke is going to go, and they're not even going to let it happen, they know what's coming. Um, great. Oh, I was I was out of my mind this entire fight. I thought I had absolutely no chance whatsoever. Um, but it was pretty good. It was a pretty good fight. They're a good player. I just managed to squeak by by the uh, hair on the chin of my chinny chin chinny chin. Ugh, oh, segways. What do you do with a drunken satyr lie in the morning? Uh, you, you draft them, and hand guys the drunk sailor in this particular case. Anyway, this is a fight. One of the, one of the many that I did this morning, just testing out my hand guy to see how he does, how he performs. Um, what I learned from my first couple of matches is that whenever I pick Arwell and hand guy, they just ban Arwell. Uh, so I could theoretically pick whoever I wanted in the fifth slot, and they just ban mitigation. Um, but this was a, a fight against I am TRK, which m must stand for I am Task Rider Crow, I imagine. But who knows? Anyway, let's jump into things. I know I have a 
Bryceria against an Ed. I didn't want their Flitica going because their Flitica would reset my hand guy, and he's kind of the whole reason I'm doing these uh, these videos in the morning, or not these videos, just these games in the morning. So I wanted to test him out, and Flitica kind of negates his entire existence. So, uh, Seal Elias is gonna go, it's 20k HP, they're not gonna get the, or, yeah, 20k, so they must not have a lot of effectiveness. Uh, I'm just gonna go into the Aiden, Defense Breaker, uh, but unfortunately, they're both faster. I probably could have, um, s one there to uh, push up the Stene to blow up the Aiden while she still had defense break on her. Um, but, I mean, I'm still learning hand guy. I don't quite know. I'm still learning how to use him. Um, this is my first time I've used him, and he, he's been banned for a majority of the other seasons that uh, I've been in. Uh, so they're just going to go completely into LHC. Um, to give Ed a, a, a flying hope. And that LRK did so much damage to my uh, Stene that I was immensely worried. I'm just going to S1 into the Aiden. Does a good chunk of damage with attack buff. Now I'm going to try and strip the um, the C. Lilius. I do get it. And now the game just becomes, can they kill my um, hand guy? And they're going to go ahead, hit Bryceria as well to break her out of, or to to get her immortality procced. And I'm just going to kill Aiden here, because that's what I really need to do. Um, and now, I'm just going to keep pushing. Uh, and hopefully Stene does not poison Ed here. And she doesn't, which is so good for me. And I'm like, okay, I have a shot. Let's keep going into this ed hopefully we kill we do great my stene has a, a, a chance here um because hp will drop as things go down so i'm gonna go ahead push her up again the c lilius still just has s1 which works for me um but there is one slight issue which i'll get into right about here um and they're going to go into my hand guy, just S1, not provoke him. And it was about at... Come on, LRK, go. I'm trying to build tents. All right, so it's about this time that I'm like, why aren't why aren't my skills available? And uh, turns out, this was the moment I found out that I, I built hand guy. I did, however, forget to mola him completely. Uh... So his S his S three was a seven turn cooldown, and his 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 S two was like a six, uh, or a five or whatever. Um, so yeah, I just sat here and was like, why don't I have S three? And then it, uh, turns out I'm just dumb. Uh, so it might be a little bit. Uh, presumptuous. I did lose. Uh, I forgot to... He has been molded since. He is good now. I did forget to mola him, which is unfortunate. Uh, if I had molded him, I might have stood a, a shot just because LR... I would have killed the C. Lilius a lot earlier, and um, LRK would have had a lot more trouble um, getting his cooldowns um, d over and done with. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching these clips. If you liked me hiding the result and kind of doing a two win one loss thing so that you can kind of guess what's going to happen with each individual clip uh that would be great just let me know down below what your thoughts are if you liked it hit the like button if you subscribe to me if you want to subscribe to me hit the subscribe button because that's how you subscribe to me i would presume that you would know that considering you're on youtube and by association know how youtube works do you know how, I, I mean, people don't know how, the algorithm, etc, etc. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, uh, and I hope you have a lovely bubbly day. That was weird. Thank you.